<laughs> yeah. Hello, 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 everybody. So. Hello. <laughs> oh, go on, Hi, go on, go on, everybody go on, go on. in the audience. Yes, hello. We've missed you. You haven't been here for a while. How are you doing? You good? Yay! <laughs> Just me and my excitement. Welcome to Daytime Live. It's Tuesday, and I'm here with my wonderful co host, Craig E.T. Craig. What's up? I've noticed some changes. What you notice? My hair <gasps> grow a little bit. Is that? That's not what I've noticed. That's not what I've noticed. You're gonna tell me what you've been up to? How are you doing it? I'm, I'm not man. doing it, but he's doing it. I'm gonna lose a little weight still. Yes. I mean, every, you don't see? Every, 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 <laughs> see? <laughs> Our audience remember what? Yes. Yes, I see it. How nah, come man, you are going? I'm not going with nothing. I'm not going. No, nah, man. I have nothing to do with that, man. You go through phases, you know, your ebb and flow. Every I'm now and well then, you just get up my discipline. It's like a two year phase. I'm like, what's happening? Ah, come on. But it's man. okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm coming back. It's come good on. to have you, man. I miss you. Yeah, I miss We're you too. We're not here. Yeah, man. I'm not. I look good today, you know, your cartoon oh. print and all these things. My cartoon things are print. And all yes. You ever see what going on? Thank you. Shout out to Paradise Boutique for the outfits. I appreciate it. And my earrings. Like, yes, yes. So everybody, guys, don't forget to connect with us on our social media, Instagram and Twitter. Talk to us. What do you think of Craigie's new everything? Come what do you on. think of the t-shirt? You like it? <laughs> Too many short dresses? Because you know I love a short dress. Tell us, TVJ underscore Daytime Live or on Facebook, TVJ Daytime Live. And if you want to be a part of a studio audience, like everybody here, log on, hey, log on to televisionjamaica.com and get listed. I remember also that you can catch our back shows on onespotmedia.com. I was like, onespotmedia.com. All right, Nisha, let's get buzzing. What's buzzing? What's I hear some things are going with with Nicki Minaj and Travis Scott. Oh gosh, what are they up to now? Tell like me. she, okay, so so Nicki Minaj, um, her album Queen and Travis Scott's album Astro World were uh -huh. projected to be in a close race for number one album right. it didn't quite pan out that way uh -oh. scott's album beat Nicki minaj's album by twenty thousand album equivalent mm. units mm. which in um chat no, <laughs> chat nerd terms is <laughs> not exactly close well, right him, him, him kind of does her still so what, what's happening is that um, <gasps> Nicki didn't take kindly to the numbers and she said she put her blood sweat and tears into writing a dope album only mm. for travis's um girlfriend who is kylie jenner as we know um to say you know come see me me and and my daughter at Travis concert and yes. you know they were they were pairing the the album release and mm -hmm. the album sales with ticket sales so right. you know you so you buy so and he was doing with t-shirts as well so if you buy a t-shirt you get a you get a downloadable right. copy of his album and right. if you buy an album thing, if right. you buy if you buy a concert ticket, you get a downloadable version of the album as well. So you right. kind of couple it with the merchandise. But it's not new. I mean people have been doing that for a long time. Nikki has done that. She as a matter of fact, she did it with Queen. Okay. Yeah, yeah she's what but what happened was mm. she had a, a a portion of the ticket she mm. made a portion of the ticket redeemable for a downloadable copy right that's so what, what she happened did. when you bought the ticket then you yourself as had a to ticket go purchaser, and log on, had to log and, on get the and then get the right right Whereas but travis, travis do it the other way you know him just buy up a whole heap of copies and him give it to you free with the right. shirt which right. it, it eliminates the problem for the consumer right. it eliminates red tape it eliminates steps so they right. only have one step then buy a shirt then get an album and, and a shirt. download and it's it's charted against his yeah. name yeah, so I mean, I mean, okay. the only people say it's just bad mind still. Yeah. <laughs> I must say Nicki Minaj bad mind. She was no more in the 80, 80 odd other countries. So right. I mean, like but I think she went to number one at some point. She just. I, she didn't debut no, at number yet. one. I think she debuted at number two. Yeah. And then I think she went up for like on some charts and then she came down. So Aretha she's beat moving. her to like a couple of people. Aretha Franklin. Her. Yeah, of she's course. She's number two like, for a while. Yeah. But I mean, really and truly, that, that is, that is it's, a, it's a good album and mm. she's been doing well. I mean, mm. it's it's second in the yeah. world. I mean, right. oh, come on. Right. You know, that's like getting a silver medal and being upset right. that you get the silver medal. Okay, yeah. you never get the gold like you got the gold last time, but you know. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and people are saying, the thing about it is with regards to Nikki, like she's getting a really hard time right now i am not into this kind of music guys so i don't know anything but i know that every interview i've seen with nikki she's been like shout out to little kim or shout out to remy ma or whatever so she's been really um what's the word she's been gracious to other female rappers so i don't know why she's on the fire yeah, right but now maybe, maybe not internal but still you know, sometimes people do those things and internally them kind of secretly are pre people because really and truly when you check it i mean Anybody that you see, any artist that you see, just check it. That that complain about other artists, it's, yeah, it's, you, you know, it's only a matter of yeah. time. Yeah, because you can't hear the player, hear the game. That is merchandising True. and sales. Exactly. Savvy that that, yeah. that that Travis Scott yeah, and his team are doing. Exactly. That, that, them know what so they're doing. You, you didn't do it mean? this time. So that's so on do it you. Next time. Next time. You know, <laughs> don't come. Let's see. You learn something, baby, or whatever. I hope so Move on. Anyway. So you know, but. <laughs> 
it will be what it will be is what we say yeah. so in other news that's buzzing guys native to united states canada mexico central america and south america the white-tailed deer is emerging as an alien invasive species of major concern here in jamaica what do you mean Yes, apparently they have no natural predators and are spreading fast. When is a Jamaica? Me mean them they here. They them are somewhere? here. These things are here. And apparently the point is they're spreading because they they have no natural enemy. So there's a good food supply for them all year round. So and this is according to um, biologist Damien White. Now he told this to the Sunday Gleaner that a very conservative estimate of the population is more than six thousand in the wild oh, he added six thousand are here what do you think of that have you what? ever seen one of those when you're driving well it's like everything what they are for in there no they sky. <laughs> 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 like they even understand they are stony hill can you yeah. imagine if you're in kingston and you're on your way to mega mars yeah. and one just truck 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 cross i don't know what to say how did they get here in the I first place to multiply like who brought it in their suitcase like what's happening maybe a santa maybe need them for god to get to this year I like it. I like it. It's true. But that's this cool, is happening. So um, be extra careful, particularly at night when you're driving. You never know. One of these yeah. might. You know what I like about this? We always hear about species becoming extinct and and, and, and what we need to do to preserve species. So it's kind of cool to hear that a new species yeah. is, is, is emerging. I like that you picked that up. That is true. That's, that's kind of that's cool. good. So something else is happening. Yeah. Other than you know, so bring them here to Jamaica, yeah. like the. Lions so and the tigers. We're, we're gonna move. We're gonna move a little bit still, because you know, we have something that happened um, recently that that kind of upset Jamaica. Oops, so oops. British chef, <laughs> so British chef Jamie Oliver has uh -huh. uh, has been accused of cultural appropriation for what? calling a new product punchy jerk rice. Yes, Jamie. From me here, that's something, <laughs> something wrong in that. But anyway, punchy so, jerk so rice. The decision to label the microwavable rice jerk. Mm -hmm. has been criticized because the product doesn't contain many of the ingredients traditionally used in a Jamaican jerk marinade. Okay. So I'm just wondering though if 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 you know what what is actually in Jamaican jerk. That's mm -hmm. what MP Don Butler asked the celebrity chef. And he said he used the name to show where he drew his um, culinary inspiration from. Okay. So we have a video of a comedian Dizzle um, and he's talking about the reaction to the Jamaican jerk rice. Yo Jamie. All right. Lao us, innit? That's all I'm saying, Lao us. Yeah? I used to rate you, Jamie Oliver. I did used to rate you. Keyword did. Yeah? But when I saw you do the six minute rice and peas and chicken, I, mm -mm. there's no way you could cook rice and peas and chicken in six minutes. That's when I lost all faith in you, Jamie. And now you come with jerk rice. <laughs> jerk rice. That you cook in one minute. No. <laughs> Jerk rice in one minute. Jamie, allow us. We like the long cooking food. We like when our food takes long for cook. We do bare things in between that. We don't rush up. Allow us. We don't jerk nothing but chicken. Just about fish. Right, jerk ri That's racist. Now that is racist right there. No, that's racist. That's racist. <laughs> That is. No. <laughs> Laos, Jamie. No, but Oliver. first of all, me never, Laos. Me never understand when I'm jerk rice. Like, what is jerk rice? And then, I'm see peas in there. So it's rice and peas. I don't really understand. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I mean, I want to buy a microwave, no rice and peas. Give me neither. We <coughs> <laughs> can't deal with that. But you microwave know, it's nice to have the help. Craig, not everybody can cook, you know, so sometimes no, you need a little, am I right? Sometimes you need a little help because no, you don't I have the pressure cooker you. and the pressure pot. I mean, all them things. So sometimes I need to just put it in the microwave. Mm -hmm. That can't good for you. Anyway, so there's another <laughs> video. <laughs> there's another video that's been circulated about a Jamaican man and a raccoon in Florida. Okay. Hold on. We'll have to check, okay. this check this out. Check this out, Nisha. Eight year old, first time I ever have go to jail. I never thought about killing nobody in my lifetime. No man, no woman, no kid. Just a raccoon, says Ezra James, who after posting his $2,000 bond, describes planning to kill the animal for eating his mangoes. He also says to prevent it from biting him and giving him rabies. I throw some gas, gasoline on him and, 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 and draw a match. In a metal trap in his Conover Avenue front yard, the 88-year-old saying a neighbor saw it and called the police. He still seems upset she did that. She, 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 she's a, 
She's a wicked woman. James is originally from Jamaica and says he did not know authorities would have humanely euthanized the raccoon. When police got here at 10 yesterday morning, James watched an officer shoot the raccoon to put it out of its misery. Two shot and kill a raccoon. He may now have to explain his actions to some disturbed neighbors. I would never have believed he would have done that. James and Nancy Gill have been neighbors for 20 years. I sure hope he thinks about it because God don't want us to do stuff like this. I'm not going to catch no more because I learned my lesson. So you won't set another raccoon on fire? No, I don't read that. What you really need to do is call and have somebody come and get him. Not do what he did. In Brevard County, I'm James Sparvero, News 6. <laughs> Gwe, a true sinana mongo. <laughs> Lord, man, 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 protect him mongo. Ma All right, you know, how long it takes for a mango tree for beer, the man hey. plant him mango seed. And I grow him mango, they eat him mango. Mm -hmm. And it, you see, you see, says a thief. Is that thief? See, man, in a mask? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, man, in a mask. <laughs> No, about this story, I think leave the man alone. You can see that he's earnest. Don't you see that he's earnest? He's yeah. just like, I have a problem. Yeah, be careful. Dude. And I have a lot of things it. to say about this video and this lady complaining. It sounds to me like <coughs> videos of people calling to yeah. say there is somebody in the bar having barbecue outside. Yeah. There is. Yeah. I'm like, lady. Yeah, be careful. You can't ramp with America and them I'm animals, you know. And be careful. Anyway, <laughs> I'm not going to get too much into this because it's a light-hearted video. So, on that note, Daytime shout-outs. Shout -out. All right, hey. so the first daytime live shout-out is for um, Tiarella Winter from Clarendon. And this is coming from our sister, Nayoka. And she said, big up yourself, Tiarella. And also, there's another one, um, Venice Orion and Security General Ming from GK General Insurance. Big up on yourself, too. Nice. I have one from Diego Owain Hansen's Strokomatic something. It says shout out to all the people them pan daytime life. Yeah. Loving the new hairdo, Nisha Yanyas. Um, <laughs> want to big up my clean mother Marva and all my siblings and nephews. Big up yourself. Yes. One more. One more from me. Okay. Um, Lacey King says, I want to send a big shout out to my mom, Christine Richards, the greatest mom ever. I love that. And I'm also a big fan of the daytime life family. Bless up yourself. Thank you guys so much for those shout outs. Keep them coming. But more on the way after this break, Daytime Live. We'll be right back. So good.